Praise the Lord. How many of you glad the Lord's still changing lives like that? Hallelujah. Go back and retrace the steps of what happened in your life. I love it. Appreciate the Lord. Praise the Lord, brother. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Come in that morning after the Lord got a hold of him. He said, it's all different now. How many of you glad you remember that all different thing? Amen. I, I don't know if I'm going to preach or not. I'm going to read these scriptures and we'll see what happens. You love the Lord. You said amen. amen. James 1 and 17 said every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. I want to ask tonight in this house, the, the good testimonies we've heard and what you feel in your heart, what's your opinion of God? What do you think about Him? Are you like me and realize that He's good? That He's loving? That He's giving? He's a giving God and He's got your best interest at heart. He don't want to make life miserable for you. He wants to make life wonderful for you and better for you. And tonight we need to give our hearts over to Him and praise Him because all the good things that we experience are because of Him. Would you praise Him with me? Would you thank Him with me because every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. From the Father of lights in whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's God. He was the God of Abraham, but He's the God of J.R. He was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but He's the God of Rachel tonight. Whoever you are, put your name in that hat and say, He's my God tonight. He's not some God afar off. He's my God. He's a God in whom there's no change in Him. He's not going to change. He is for you and going to make things good for you. Lift up your hands and say amen. I thought about my opinion of him, my thoughts of him is how good he is. And I classify him tonight as a giver. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, he's done give me a gift. Gave me salvation, Tom. Changed me, done a work in me. I'm like Danny was talking about, I, there, there was a time when I knew that something had to change. I got... Gary Heyman talked about it. I went to High Point to revival meeting. He told somebody at church, said, yeah, he's going to keep fooling around. He's going to keep messing around. How many of you glad you kept on going? Amen. Kept on going until the Lord got a hold of you. I thought about what the good gifts he's given me and how good he's been and how good he is and what he wants to do for us. We classify him in our hearts, and that's what he is to us. What you picture him as is what he'll be in your life. If you think about him in the wrong light, you'll have the wrong concept of what he wants to do. But he wants to bless you. Somebody say amen. amen. James writes, by holy inspiration, calling him Father. Father, I'm a child of the King. His royal blood now flows through my veins. I don't classify myself as much. But I'll tell you this, and I don't back up one bit. He chose me, and he wrote my name down in his book. I said he wrote my name down in his book. He chose to give me a good gift and a perfect gift. And because of his given nature, his loving nature, my forever changed. Not my, not my day, not my week, but my forever changed because of his given nature. Johnny, I'll never be the same, and you'll never be the same because of what he gave, because of what he's given. Come on, is he still giving to you? Is there still that atmosphere in your life? Uh, Brad talked about two or three times an atmosphere. Bring an atmosphere with you. Let's come to the house of God with an atmosphere about us. It changes atmosphere, atmosphere around us because of who God is. He's the Father of all, the Father of lights. And I thought about... Uh, if I think about it in the natural, I thought he's the father of lights, the father of the sun, the moon, and the stars. But then I thought about the spiritual, in the spiritual sense, he's the one that shined a light on our path. Let us see how lost we was. But then that same light that shined on how lost we was, shined on how we could be found. Changes. The sun, moon, and the stars 
in the physical, give us seasons. Give us sowing and gathering. Summer, winter, and fall, and 